So today I want to show you how to do some pretty backgrounds for your flower paintings. And I'm going to use one of these. It's only made of paper. You can buy them really cheap. And it's a doily. And I'm going to tape it down a little bit because I put, took a little bit of tape and I just taped it so that sticky part is out there. And I'll lay that down here. And I'll lay that down here so that I can keep it down. Now get your hands on one of these little rollers and we will, I'm going to dampen that roller a little bit and I'm going to roll it into some paint. I'm going to use red paint just like you would if you were painting your walls. <laughs> Roll it around. A little bit of white going on in there too. I don't want it to be just plain red. Alright. So let's go and put that on our doily. Yeah. We have to go one way because when you pull back, see? It pulls back. So you want to go one way. The tape will hold down the middle. I'm just using watercolor paper for now to show you. You can do this on your canvas. Or paint. So it looks like you gotta go one way because it'll, it'll jump up and ruin it. See? See you do it that way? So let's keep doing it this way. I need to tape everything down. <laughs> So you just roll it until you get it all filled in. Say this is your canvas. So you want to do all the, the canvas. Because now you're going to paint flowers on it. This is going to be your background. Or you can paint still life. You can paint apples and oranges. So don't have to be just flowers. It can be just a background for anything that you're doing. Good. Makes it faster for your paintings too when you're painting. When you're painting backgrounds, then you can do them much faster and smoother too. You get a really nice smooth look. So nice, so easy. Now let's make sure that we have all this filled in. And let's see what happens. Okay. Let's see what that looks like. Off. Look, it's even falling apart. Isn't that pretty? That's pretty, isn't it? So you could use that for a background. So that's one background you could do. It's almost a painting in itself, isn't it? Nice. Let's try another one. 
So for this background, we're going to have a black canvas. Black canvas is really nice for if you're painting white rose or something like that. See, watch. So if you have a white canvas or white, whatever you're painting on, doesn't matter. Just paint it black. What I'm gonna do, instead of having a flat black, flat, instead of having a flat black, I'm going to add a little bit of interest to the background, so it won't be just a flat black. And here's what I'm gonna do. What you need is some plastic wrap and some burnt umber, burnt sienna, and red. And what we're going to do is just gonna take our brush, just any brush. Now you can wait for that black to dry so that the other colors won't just blend in with it and uh, they won't stand out at all. So there are lots of ways to make backgrounds and um, these are just a few. I made a nice black background for this flower, Bird of Paradise. So what we'll do is we'll take our burnt umber, burnt sienna and red. We're going to put some here, we're just going to put on nice and thick. We're going to put on some burnt umber. Didn't even clean my brush. Just putting it on there. And let's see what else we need. It. And I'm going to put some red on here. I'm going to see what kind of background we can get here. as much paint as you want. I'm using a pretty small um, canvas so it's, you don't need as much paint so it depends on what you use. So I'm just taking this I'm just going to lay it here. I'm just going to tap it down so that it all blends together. You can even take your little roller if you want. The roller is cute, and you can just roll over too. Just see what happens. There we go. Good. be the best one to do. Just going to sew it round, round, round you go. See and how that smooths it out beautifully? Now that's a really soft one. I, I bought this and it's a shave for shaving. For, um, shaving cream you put a man puts on his face and shaves. And this one's got bristles or they're, they're tougher. And we could use that too, right? So you could just go around and around. Not pretty. So they both work really nice. Just blends it a little bit more. All those pretty colors. Isn't that nice for a beautiful background? So that's a very pretty background. You put some beautiful flowers on that or still life of some kind. We'll use those backgrounds and I'll show you how to paint
made some flower sandals. Now today I'm going to show you how to make a rainbow pier. And what I'm going to do is, I am going to take a drawing of a pier and I'm going to cut out the center here. See? So I just have the shape. So then I'm going to lay it down and you can tape it down also. These are nice little techniques that you can use in your paintings and that you can use for separated paintings. Um, you can make these bigger if you want to fill up a full canvas. And I'm going to use my primary colors for now. So to so it won't be too complicated. We'll just use our primary colors of red, yellow, and blue and some white, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to try it both ways and I'm going to try the first way of getting the colors in here with sponge. Okay, we're going to use a sponge. You can use any kind of sponge. So you can use any kind of sponge. I got these sea sponges and some of these are, uh, this package here, sponges are nice. You can get them uh, at the dollar stores and um, they're not very expensive. Go into your makeup department and that's where you'll get some really excellent uh, sponges and brushes. I'll tell you all about that after and I'm going to show you the brushes. So now I'm going to take my sponge and I'm going to dip it into my different colors. So let's go with our blues and reds and just dip it in so you get some nice colors and then your yellow. Right. See all those nice pretty colors? Just the colors of the rainbow. So you got your reds and your it's even turning a bit green, orange. Right. We'll see how that works out. And we might add a little bit of white to brighten it up. So let's see how that works out. So we'll just tap that on there. Tap, 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 tap. There we go. Good. And that will give you a rainbow of colors. So you can go back and get more red, so you can go back and get more yellow. And as you're tapping them into each other, they will give you the oranges, the secondary colors, the oranges and purples. And See that? Isn't that pretty? It's a red. Now that's pretty. Now let's see how pretty it is. So just lift it up. Now you got a really pretty. And like I say, you can add more color to that. So you got a really pretty pier. Now I want to try this roller. Just want to see if I roll it on how it would look. So just um, get it a bit damp. So mist it with a misting bottle. Just some water in your bottle. That's all. Just a, you can buy these over, in, over to Walmart or you know the main stores that you go to. And um, so we'll roll it into our blues and our reds and our yellows. I have color on there and we will just roll it on and see what happens. That's nice. That's a nice one. Look at that. That's nice too, isn't it? See these nice little tricks that you can do? There's so many things that you can do if you just get somebody to give you the ideas. And that's what I'm hoping to do today and I have other tips and tricks and fun things that we can do um, besides my full paintings of landscapes and seascapes and all that. I still want to give you these nice little side tips or little, uh, little bits and bites of techniques for your acrylic paintings. So that came out pretty nice. Here we go. Take it off and 